Okay, and Quentin Ketchum are different. Go online. <laughs> it's not. It's not the same as live. I came over from Italy as a little boy. Hey, hey, hey did you love the music? I that taught I 32 like years the, at RCK. Did you like that music, Todd? I was a track da, coach. Da, 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 da. I love that. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're live right now. The organizational and regular business meeting of the Wappinger Central School District Board of Education is called to order at 6.33 p.m. I'm going to do a quick a quick roll call of board members. Please indicate that you're present. Marie Johnson. Marie. Marie. Marie, Marie Johnson. Here. Peggy Callan. Here. Here. Michael Lopez. Here. John Lumia. Can you hear me? I'm here. Yes. yes. Keith Odoms. Present. Linda Rappaport. Here. Rob Rubin. Here on the phone. Teddy Slowshower. Here. Here. James Spencer. Here. Okay. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence for the following retired staff members who recently passed away. Catherine Padilla, Stephen Del Biondo, and Glenn Hayton. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us today in our first meeting of the Board of Education for the 2021 school year. Congratulations to incumbents Peggy Kellen, John Lumia, and Keith Odoms on their re-election to the Board of Education. Item 3.01 on the agenda <clears throat> is the administration of the oath of office to the newly elected board members. Mrs. Kellen, please affirm that you're currently in the state of New York Yes. Now raise your right hand and read the oath of office aloud. I, Peggy Kelland, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of board member of the Wappinger Central School District Board of Education for the term July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2023, mm -hmm. according to the best of my ability. Great. <laughs> Mr. Lumia, it's your turn now. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please affirm that you're currently in the state of New York. Yes, I am. Okay, great. Now raise your right hand and read the oath of office aloud. I, John C. Lumia, do <laughs> solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of New York State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of board member of the Wapping Central School District Board of Education for the term of July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2023, according to the best of my ability. Great, thank you. Now, Mr. Odoms? <laughs> yes. Please affirm that you're currently in the state of New York. Yes, I am. Okay. Now raise your right hand and read the oath of office aloud. I, Keith Odom, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of office of board member of the Board of Education of the Wappinger Central School District for the term July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2023, according to the best of my ability. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Now moving on to item 3.02, superintendent's oath of office. Mr. Carrion, please affirm that you're in the state of New York. Yes, I am. 
He's in Sicily. Okay. Please raise, now please raise your right hand and go ahead and read the oath of office aloud. I, Jose Carrion du Samuel, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of superintendent of schools of the Wappinger Central School District for the 2020-2021 school year, according to the best of my ability. Thank you. Okay, moving on. 4.01, board president, election of officers. I am now uh, requesting nominations for the position of board president for the 2020-21 school year. Are there, are there any nominations? I have a nomination. Nominate Marie nominate. Johnson. <laughs> Marie, who did you nominate? John Lumia. John Lumia, is there a second? John Lumia. I second. Thank you, Linda. Are there any other nominations for president of the Board of Education? Okay, one more time. Are there any other nominations for the office of president of the Board of Education? Okay, seeing none. Nominations are declared closed. We have a motion by Marie Johnson and a second by Linda Rappaport to nominate John Lumia as president of the Board of Education. I'd like to take a vote now. I will do that by roll call. Please state your vote for the person to fill the office of president. Marie Johnson? Yes, John Lumia. Thank you. Peggy Kellen. John Lumia. Michael Lopez. John Lumia. John Lumia. John, wake up. Oh, John Lumia, me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God help us. I guess I guess I have to say yes. <laughs> Keith Odoms. John Lumia. Linda Rappaport. John Lumia. Okay. Rob Rubin. John Lumia. Okay, Eddie, slow shower? John Lumia. Okay, and James Spencer. It's unanimous, John Lumia. Thank you, everyone. Mr. Lumia, <laughs> you have been appointed president of the Board of Education for the 2021 school year. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody. Padre, Filho, Espiritu Santos, amen. <laughs> so I now need to administer the oath of office to the president of the Board of Education. Mr. Lumia, can you now go ahead and raise your right hand? And if you have it in front of you, can you read the oath of office for the president? I, John C. Lumia, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the, Guys. Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of President of the Board of Education for the Wabbage Central School District for 2020, 2021 school year according to the best of my ability. Great. Thank you. Now, Mr. Luma, you are now chair of the meeting, and you may conduct nominations for a vice president of the Board of Education, which is item 4.02 on the agenda. Right, any nominations for vice president? Anybody? I have a nomination. Okay, okay. Jim? I nominate Keith Odoms for vice any, president. Any, any seconds? Second. Who seconded? Rob, Rob, Rob Uden. Rob Uden. Are there any other nominations? Marie Johnson. Yes, Eddie Slowshower. Are there any, Eddie Slowshower. <laughs> is there a second? I'll second it. All right. And I'll take a vote. All those in favor for, for Mr. Keith Odom. Jim Spencer. Roll Try to think you gotta do it by name. Roll call. Jim Spencer. Roll call. I am going roll call. Jim Spencer. Keith Odoms. Linda Rappaport. Keith Odoms. Uh, Peggy Kellen. Keith Odoms. Marie Johnson. Eddie Slosher. Keith Odoms. Keith Odoms. <laughs> Mike Lopez. Keith Odoms. Eddie Slashower. Eddie Slashower. John Lumia. Uh, Peggy, uh, Keith Odoms. 
Like that, call everybody. No. That's it. Rob Rubin. Rob Rubin. Rob Rubin. Rob Rubin. Uh, I vote for Keith. Uh, obviously, Mr. Mr. Keith, the Vice President, congratulations. Yes, you have to, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay, so I have Thank to you know administer vote. the oath of office to Mr. Odoms. Mr. Odoms, please raise your yes. right hand and go ahead and read the oath of office for the Vice President of the Board of Education. I, Keith Odoms, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the Vice President of the Board of Education for the Wappinger Central School District for the 2020-2021 school year, according to the best of my ability. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 5.01 <laughs> board members review and sign the code of ethics. I guess uh, we have to come in at, at our earliest and so sign that, that code. Yes, right. I can. Um, I can mail it um, with a um, return envelope if any board member would like. Those who can stop in, um, I will have them available. Uh, please, we'll need to make arrangements for that, however, by email to ensure that we maintain social distancing and the proper amount of staff members in the office at one time. But um, I do have them ready to be mailed um, for all board members, if you like. Alberta, you. can you mail mine, Jim Spencer? Jim, what'd you say, Jim? Please mail mine, Alberta. Yes. Anybody else want to mail? Anybody else? I guess you could, the rest of us are going to be coming in. Rob? I'm coming in and I'll leave, send Alberta an email to us when she's available. Just call the office. Thank you so much. 6.01, appointments of officers for school year. Keith? Oh. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapage Central School District does hereby approve the appointment of the following offices for the 2020-2021 school year as stated. Any questions by anyone? Motion. Mo anybody make a motion? I'll second. I'll second. Marie, make a second. Make it. Who's second to Rob Rubin? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, John Lumia, yes. Keith Odoms? Yes. Marie Johnson? Yes. Peggy Kellen? Yes. Mike Lopez? Yes. Eddie Schleschauer? Yes. Jim Spencer? Yes. Linda Rappaport? Yes. Rob Rubin? Yes. 6.02. Resolved that appointments. the Board of Education... Go ahead. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapajur Central School District does hereby approve the following appointments for the 2020-2021 school year as stated. Motion? So moved. Marie? Thank you, Kellen. Any questions? Motion. Seeing none, John Lumia, yes. Keith Odoms? Hey, John, yes. may I suggest to make it quicker because it's a very long agenda? Since I can see everybody, um, if you can ask for yes votes and then show a raise of hands all, and then no one abstain. Rob Rubin. Okay, all those in favor, raise your hands. Eddie? Yep. Rob Rubin? Eddie. Yes. All right, everybody raise their hand, unanimous. 6.03, designation appointments. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapajur Central School District does hereby approve the following designation appointments for the 2020-2021 school year as stated. Motion. Marie. Marie. Kellen, second. second. Discussion. All those in favor, raise your hand. Rob Rubin? Yes. Are you unanimous? Stop. I make my guys a long list. Hold on. <laughs> Six, 6 6.04, designation appointments, acting superintendent. Keith. He's up that the Board of Education yes. does hereby approve the designation appointments for acting superintendent for the 2020 2021 school year as stated. Yeah. Motion. Yeah. Move. 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 Second. 
Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, raise your hand. Ruben? Yes. Okay, unanimous. 6.05, designation to appoint impartial hearing officer. Keith? Resolve that the Board of Education does here by designate the appointment of the following acting principles. No, 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 no. I think. No, I'm sorry. Whereas, I'm sorry, excuse me. Whereas Commissioner Regulation 200.5 directs that a Board of Education arrange for an impartial hearing officer <laughs> in accordance with the Commissioner's rules. And whereas the Commissioner Regulations require that the rotational process must be initiated immediately, but not later than two business days after receipt by the school district of the written request for the hearing. And whereas the commission of regulations allow the Board of Education to designate one on more of its members to appoint the impartial hearing officer once an available impartial hearing officer from the rotational list has been found to be available. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of that the board president or vice president be designated as having the power to appoint an impartial hearing officer who has been selected in accordance with the regulations of the commissioner of education on behalf of the board of education. Motion. So moved. Uh, Ruben second. Yep. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand. Ruby. Yes. Unanimous designation to appoint acting principals for short-term student disciplinary matters. Keith. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby designate the appointment of the following acting principals for short-term disability matters for the 2020-2021 school year as stated. Motion. I'll move. Yep. So okay, move. Ruben. Discussion. All those in favor. Ruby. Yes. Unanimous. Let me see if I can get to the, the, the next list. <laughs> God help us. 6.07, official bank depository. Uh, Marie, did you have a question? Marie, Marie, you're frozen. I think, I think she's frozen with I her hand okay. raised. Yeah. No. John, she can't no, ask a question sorry, until you bring it into. Marie. I was okay. scratching my head, I'm fine. Okay. 6.07 designation official bank depository. Keith. Resolved that the following banks and or trust companies be and hereby are designated as the official depositories for the funds as stated. Motion. So moved. Linda, second. Discussion. All those in favor. Marie. All, all opposed. Ruby, are you in I'm favor? in favor. Is anybody opposed? Marie is frozen. Marie, you're frozen. No, I'm not. Marie? Yeah, you are. She said, are you in favor? Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Just free, 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 can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. We can hear you. In favor or opposed? All right. <laughs> 6 .08, oh. designation. Official okay. newspapers. Keith. Resolved that the Board of Education designate the Poughkeepsie Journal in the Southern Dutchess News as the official newspaper of the Wapage Central School District for the 2020-2021 school year. Motion. So, so Ruben, discussion? All in favor? Yes. No, no, I have a discussion item uh, for that. Okay. Alberta, okay. Who is your discussion item? this is Bob Rubin. I don't yes. know if you can answer this, but where I live, which is on the northern end of the district, um, I have available in stores to me. I don't buy it, but it's the northern Dutch news that's available up here. So would, could we amend this to also include the northern Dutch news, or is that not necessary? Well, Poughkeepsie Journal is part of the Northern Dutchess News, I guess. 
Legally, this, no. legally, it's required no. that I have two newspapers of general circulation. Um, it's always been the Southern Duchess News and the Poughkeepsie Journal long before my tenure here. This has to do with um, funding as well. We pay a lot of money for legal notices in these newspapers who charge by the line. And as you know, my legal notices on a normal election with six poll sites, they cost hundreds of dollars. So I don't know legally that I can change the Southern Duchess uh, news without consulting attorneys. No, no, I didn't mean to change it. I mean, I meant, would there be a possibility of adding it? Maybe at some later point. I don't have money. There, there's no money. Yet. Okay. How, how many people are in favor of adding something? Um, um, if I can just hand. say, we will inquire and we will get back in the next weekly memo review. As of That's now, the best thing. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm two, two newspapers. Raise your hand, please. Marie? Marie? Yeah, we have, you, we have, Marie? Yes, of course. Oh, we have enough votes, so let's go to the next topic. Designation, special education. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapaja Central School District does hereby approve the following special education designations for the 2020-2021 school year as stated. Question. Move. Move. Who we'll made the motion, Peggy, Ruben? Rob Ruben. Any discussion? No. Uh, I, just, a, just a quick discussion. Are those two, those two people na named in uh, num item number one? Yes. Did, did they volunteer or? Uh, yes. They volunteer. Okay. Yes. In that case, all those in favor, raise your hand. Ruby? Yes. Ruby? Yes. 6.10 authorizations. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapaja Central School District does hereby approve the following authorizations for the 2020-2021 school year as stated. Motion. So moved. With Lou Rubin second in discussion. All those in favor. Uh, Mike. Ruby. I'll, yes. Keith Odom. Yes. Unanimous. Next. Uh, Eddie Cash. Yeah. 6.10, 6.11. Authorization for Petty Cash accounts. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby authorize the following Petty Cash accounts be established for the 2020 2021 school year as stated. Motion. Marie. Mm -hmm. Second is Peggy Kellen. Discussion. All in favor? Uh. All in favor? Eddie? Yes. Uh, Bob Rubin? Yes. Okay, 6.13, authorization for transfer of state aid. Wait, no, 6.12, John. 6.12? Yes. Yeah, yes. 6.12, authorization of change funds. Change funds. Go ahead, Ruby. Uh, Keith? Resolved that the Board of Education does here by authorize the following change funds be established for the 2020 2021 school year as stated. Marie Johnson, uh, Keith Autumn second, and discussion. All those in favor? Ruby? Yes. Unanimous. Uh, 6.13, authorization of transfer of state aid funds by wire. Keith? Resolve, resolve that the Wapaja Central School District be authorized to direct the state <laughs> education department to transfer state aid funds by wire to the approved bank of record per annum. Motion. Move. I'll move. Ruben, yes. Thank you. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Keith. Marie. Marie. Yeah. Yes. Ruben. Yes. All right. Next. Re approval to renew PMA self-funded workers' compensation. Oop. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby renew PMA to continue to represent the district as a third party administrator for the 2020 2021 school year. Motion. Peggy. Linda. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Raise your hands. Ruby. Yes. 
Marie. Okay. All right, next, oh, uh, 6.15, continue participation in class. Resolve that the Board of Education of the Wabajoo Central School District does hereby approve the district's continued participation in a cooperative liquid asset security system class pursuit to Article 5-6, Section 119-0 of the General Municipal Law is hereby affirmed. Motion. Move. Peggy. Second. And, uh, Ruben. All those in favor of yes. discussion? All those in favor, raise your hands. Ruby? Yes. Marie, I'm sorry. All right. 6.16, notification of BOSIS bid participation. Resolved that the Wapaja Central School District shall participate in any BOSIS bid and BOSIS cooperative consortium that is in the best interest of the district during the 2020-2021 school year. Motion. So moved. Move. Okay. Ruben, any discussion? All in favor? Keith? Yes. Ruby? Yes. All right. Yes. yes. Approval of 403 plan administrator. Resolved that the Board of Education renew Omni Group as a third party administrator of our 413B plan for employees at a cost of $3,480 as detailed in a memo dated June 12, 2020 from our Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Business Development to the, to the Superintendent of Schools. Motion. So moved. So moved. Okay, Peggy, uh, Ruben, in discussion? All in favor? Uh, Ruby? Yes. Okay. Bonding of personnel, 6.18. Resolved that the following individuals be bonded under the district's insurance pol policy as stated. So moved. Okay, uh, second. Uh, Ruby, second. Keith, and uh, Peggy Kelland. Discussion? All those in favor? Keith? Ruby? Yes. yes. Unanimous. 7.01 adoption of board president powers. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapaja Central School District does hereby adopt Board President Powers as stated. Motion. So moved. Okay. Yeah. Ruben second. Discussion? All those in favor? Marie? Ruby? Yes. Okay, next. Readoption of district policies. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby readopt all existing 2019-2020 board policies for continuation during the 2020-2021 school year unless revised or retired by action of the Board of Education. Motion. So moved. Move. Okay, second. 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 Any discussion? All those in favor? Mike? Ruby? Yes. Jimmy? Marie? All right, next. Yes. <laughs> adoption, uh, 7.03, adoption of the Board of Education meeting calendar. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapaja Central School District does hereby adopt the 2020-2021 Board of Education meeting calendar as stated. Motion? So moved. Yes. Okay, and Ruben, second. And discussion? All in favor? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Marie? 7.04, acceptance of cell phone inventory. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wapaja Central School District hereby accepts the inventory of cell phones for the 2020-2021 school year <laughs> as stated. Motion. So moved. So moved. And discussion. All those yes. in favor. Discussion. None. All in favor? None. Ruby. Yes. Okay. Seven point oh five approval of average hourly overtime rates for custodians and groundkeepers for facility usage. 
Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby approve the following hourly overtime rates for custodians and groundskeeper to be reflected in policy 15-E.2, building usage and fee schedule as stated. Motion. So moved. Motion. Second. Keith, Keith and, uh, and, Marie, and uh, Rob Rubin. Discussion? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all those in favor? Ruby? Yes. 8.01, Membership Dutchess County School Board Association. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby elect to join the Dutchess County School Boards Association for the 2020-2021 school year for an annual dues amount of $895. So Be it further. Oh, sorry. Be here for the reason. Point somebody. You have to point some. Who was who was okay. who was uh, on last year? Peggy. Peggy, do you want to continue? Sure. Okay, for Peggy. Yeah. Peggy Everybody agree? Yeah, yes. I agree. I That's agree. okay for Peggy. Okay. Be, be it further resolved that Trustee Peggy Kellen, as he designated it as the Wabaja Central School District DCSBA Director on the association's board of directors for the 2020-2021 school year. So moved. Uh, Ruben, second. Keith, all those in favor? Ruben. Congratulations. Ruben? Yes. Congratulations, Peggy. Thank you. 8.02, a membership New York State School Board Association. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby approve the membership of the New York State School Boards Association for the 2010 to 2021 school year at a cost not to exceed $12,754. Discussion. Right, hey, we got to make a motion. I make a motion to accept. Motion. Second. Uh, Ruben, second. Discussion. Marie. Hello. Marie? Marie? We can't Marie. hear you. Yeah. We got to ask her to call in. I'll text her to have a call in. Okay. All those in favor? Well, you want to see if she got, she got a question? Could, I think hold I, on. I think she She's a calling. Hold on. Okay. Let's, let's hear from her. Hello. Could, did we lose you? Can you dial in then? Call I believe, in. I believe that was she's uh, getting online. I think it's uh, call in. She's gonna call in. Okay, I think we should vote this down. We save ourselves some money. So as far as I'm concerned, we should vote this down. Yeah, call in. And then uh, approve the next the next resolution with a change, little change. It's gonna save a great deal of money. Marie did a lot of study on this, a lot of a lot of research on this, and as far as I'm concerned, I, I agree with her totally. But I mean, it, we, can, we can hear what she's just on the on the email, John. There's an eight thousand dollar savings. I know. I mean, I know. if we're utilizing the things that Miss Pedro needs, that's fine. But if you if you crunch the numbers between everything else, you know, eight thousand dollars is significant for right now. It, it, I mean, we don't to, lose board to, docs. According, um, according to Alberta, she doesn't need all the stuff in eight point oh two. And if we go with 8.03, she's going to get everything she wants at a saving that's been reset of $8,000. So, so we'll we were it. grandfathered in at a certain cost for for um, for certain items. Um, and once we vote not to be in this, if we want to re-enter next year or the year after, we're going to be paying a higher um, price. I think we should um, be very careful and considerate because, you know, Something that eight thousand dollars this year savings might mean us spending sixteen thousand dollars more two years from now, and and that's not smart. Alberta, could you could you please, could you please since you're the one, uh, uh, yeah, Peggy. Uh, I'd just like to say that NISBA has been a big help to us on a number of issues. Alberta is able to contact their lawyers for many legal issues without for free because a part of our membership. So she only needs to consult our attorneys for situations that are particular to our district. 
They've also been a big help on policy. Uh, they helped us, re uh, of course we paid, we have, we pay them for the policy, but we do get a lot of extra as members. We get to talk to them about this all the time. We have a great deal of assistance with lobbying. We have a legislative voice when we go as part of NISBA to Albany. And when we talk to our local legislators, we have a whole group statewide behind us. And this makes a difference because we're trying to influence not just our local legislators who are only one voice in the assembly and one in the Senate, but well, actually two in the assembly since we have two districts, but this allows us a certain degree of clout on the state level. And that's where we get our state aid, which is about a quarter of our budget. Marie, Marie Johnson. Not to mention that. What up, Jim Marie? I don't know how to un. How do you unmute it? Un you, I can, can hear you. you. I we can, can hear, hear you. you. We can hear oh, you, Marie. Never mind. Sorry. Um. Yes. Okay. Where was I at? Sorry, I missed that whole part. All right. So yes, we do get some stuff, but as far as the what the costs are this year <laughs> to save this money for one year, and the biggest part is our board docs which we would still be able to contract. Um, we would still be able to do the policy update. Uh, it's, yes, it's a little more than the contract rate, but you're paying 12700 to get a couple of thousand lower on the board docs and a couple of hundred lower on your policy update. You'd be saving close to $9,000, and in a year where we don't know what's going to be happening down the road, Yes, I get that we go, but we also already elected not to have any conferences this year. So it's not like we're going to any conferences to begin with. So therefore, it's you're not getting that. So why are we worrying about going to a conference when we, as a board, collectively ask to have all of our money for conferences taken away to help our budget? This is just – we have a bunch of, of – uh, money here that we could save i'm not saying we can't go back to it next year but in this one instance i think it would be a smart move we don't know what's going to be coming we don't know if we're going to have to purchase all kinds of things that are going to cost us a lot of money uh for ppe and everything else for the school so it's just to me it's a cost sensitive thing and for a year it's not going to kill us to not go with it we only came back to nisba five years about five years ago so i i it's I believe it would be a, uh, a savings that we sh could uh, utilize this year. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Do, would anybody be able to answer this? If we if we opt out this year, we go back in next year, it's going to be a higher rate. Does anybody know how much the higher rate is for what, what the increase will be to, for next year if we decide to we join? Don't to know if, we don't know if there's an increase. Can I, if but I we, can don't know, we don't know if they're going to increase our rates next year anyway. Okay. If I can just say something quickly, the 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 um, ESSA reporting um, for the budget and the budget book clearly specified each category, every detail that was accounted for, and that's what the board approved. And there's countless, countless questions, numerous questions about every single, almost every single line item, and that never came up. So we put that down as we said, we were going to utilize that money within that account code for that specific purpose. So we could have had an additional savings if that's where the board was looking to do, or that money could have been transferred. But at the same time, there were tons of questions being asked. And um, Peggy, uh, Trustee Peggy, was the first one to say, <clears throat> well, let's eliminate at the time the conferences because let's show that we don't need to go to any conferences if we don't have any new board members. And um, so that category, those categories were discussed. I just want to bring that out. But the question okay. was, I just, I just think that we're being penny wise and dollar foolish to come out of something that we were grandfathered in as a discount only to probably get back into it in subsequent years. And then compounding the cost is going to be more. And we rely on, on this book. Um, and I think that we use all, that Alberta can vouch for the fact that she uses all the tools. And <laughs> I, I just think that, you know, we're, it's being foolish not to think of the, just to think of this 
year and not think of subsequent years. Also, although we have no money for the conferences this year, I have already done three webinars that they had. I don't know if any of the others of you did, which were free complimentary to board members. They were very helpful. And I'd be happy to share the information with the rest of you. And I also will pass on the handouts to anyone on our board since we are members. And uh, I believe uh, Mr. Rubin has a free conference available, but of course that's at NISBA membership rate. So, uh, you know, he would have to pay something to go this right. year in addition if we were no longer members. All right, I think that I call the question, uh, all those in favor of uh, this resolution, please raise your hands. Jim Spencer, Linda Rappaport, Keith Odoms, Mike Lopez, Peggy Kelland, Rob Rubin? Yes. All those opposed? Jeremy, Eddie, and Marie Johnson. Well, motion carries. Uh, now we have to, I think, going to stick uh, 8.03, stick with the $900 versus the $1,800. Keith? Yes. We resolve that the Board of Education does hereby approve the NISPA policy update service annual subscription agreement at the rate of $900 effective August 1st, 2020 to July 31st, 2021. Motion? I'll move. Thank Thank you. Move. Rob Rubin, second. Discussion? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. All, all those opposed? Uh, Marie. Eddie and Marie. Marie? Yes. Okay. It carries. I'm voting for it, John. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Uh, uh, 8.04 PTA Council represented. We need somebody who, who, who wants to volunteer for the PTA Council. Anybody? Jim Spencer. Okay. Jim, right. you're appointed. <laughs> okay. If everybody thank agrees. You, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, uh, Keith. You're welcome. We resolve that the Board of Education does hereby appoint Trustee James Spencer to reserve as the board representative at the PTA Council meeting for the 2020-2021 school year. This kind of motion? So moved. So moved. Uh, Peggy Kellen and Rob Rubin second. And discussion? Uh, no, thank Eddie, you, Jim. Eddie? Eddie? Just welcome, thank you, Eddie. Jim. Uh, all in favor? Thank you. Yes. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Rob Rubin? Yes. 8.05, designate board members to serve as standing committee. Before he reads this, may I make a suggestion that we keep the same committee members on all those committees that did such a great job next year, last year, I mean, they were excellent. You know, oh, so I'd like I, to change. Unless, unless somebody unless somebody wants to change. I would mean? like to change. Okay, what to change? What do you want to change to? Um, Can I read? I uh, wait a I minute. I have Let me not... read it first. Wait a minute. Okay. Linda. Oh, um, I have not been on the policy committee yet, and I would like okay. to. Okay. So, right now we have three. Does anybody want to get out of the policy because we already have three board members? I think. Who's, uh, the key, um, Can we add her? Can we add Linda page. to the policy? I'm sorry? Can we just add Linda to the policy? Would that be an no. issue? No. Okay. Uh, Peggy did a good job. Is my concern she should stay on? Uh, uh, Eddie's uh, did an excellent job too. Oh no! Excuse me. It would be because Mr. Lumia, I think it would be. Let me rephrase that because you're ex officio on that. So if you have three members plus yourself, you already have four. Uh, I'm saying we you can't two. have a fourth. You can't, you can't have four, four, board, four members. board members. You You'll have, have a, a quorum. Right. Anyway, uh, somebody has to resign from that committee. I think Rubo, are you in the committee? On the on the on which one again? No. On the policy. The wonderful Bronx. <laughs> All right. There you go. Let's see who's on there. Take care, Ruben. Keep up. Keep scrolling up a little bit. Scroll up. Can you scroll? Go down. You mean go down? I was on the safety committee. And the curriculum committee, which both met during the day, okay, so and the uh, and the personnel committee, which also met during the day. Lopez, Lopez, Lopez. 
I'm Those in the community, two. yeah. We need somebody for strategic planning. No, let's find the way it is. Uh, might I suggest that there are two committees that only have two members on now, legislative action and community communications? Well, communications, he's already on. So yes. it would be legislative yes. action. Yes. yes, so therefore, if he would like the legislative action yeah. committee. But, I, you know, let's be fair so that... Uh, well, the challenge with the challenge with legislative action is that with our we've been, those meetings have been going on at three o'clock or four o'clock uh, in the afternoon yeah, with the student participants. I mean, that was last year. The students that were involved they were not available in the evening. They were only available after school. So, I'm just throwing that out there. That's all right, look. Peggy, you were on five. Uh, you were on five committees last year. Is there one that meets later that you're okay with getting off of? Because um. I mean, you've been pulling five duty last year. I can just all right, say off strategic planning. Yeah, that's, we meet in. But that's we'll, during the day. No, we we'll meet in the yeah. evening. And if there's anything going on during the day, we'll make sure to fit you in remotely. If anything, COVID-19 has taught us is that there are many ways of getting together. So, um, um, hey, Mike, it sounds like the superintendent's going to give you dinner and move everything to the evening and accommodate you. That's nice of them. A nice Puerto Rican meal, Mike. A nice Puerto Rican meal. Hey, let's no, Pierogi. Let's, let's leave everything the way it is. Except That's an Allen bill. Three new Paul's pierogies. <laughs> and if uh, if we have a position, I'll look at all the Lopez. Right now, the, the only change that we're going to have is Linda Rappaport. We're going to go on policy, and uh, Mike Lopez get out of policy. And the, I mean, the rest of the way it is. And in and, and all honesty, as... um. Superintendent Carrion just said, I mean, we don't know what the fall is going to look like. So certainly, you know, this remote, I mean, as a, as a teacher myself, you know, remote learning, if I, my school day is done at two o'clock and there's a meeting at two o'clock, you know, I'm not traveling anywhere. It is what it is, you know. All right. All those in favor, jo uh, motion? Aye. Motion. There's, there's, no, no, there's no motion on this. This is just a vote. That's a vote. All no right, vote. John Lumia, yes. Key totems. No yes. vote. No, no vote. vote. No, no vote. vote. No vote on this. No vote. Okay, that's it. And it's the same on the ad hoc. We're leaving the ad hocs the same too, correct? My, Mike, thank yes. you. Everything is the Problem. same. No, the I just, I just no, no, like to, I like to try separate. everything. No, no, the ad hoc is no, the ad hocs are separate, right, that's, Alberta? That's separate. Yes, they're separate. That's All in right. a different designation. Eight point oh six. Approved to establish designated board members to serve on ad hoc board committees. Keith? The board president will request volunteers for the three board ad hoc committees. Ad hoc committees require a minimum of two board members in order to have a committee this year. The board president serves as a ex officio on all board committees. Resolved that the Board of Education of the Wabaji Central School District does hereby establish the board goals community communications and legislative action board ad hoc committees and the district smart school bond act ad hoc committee for the 2020 2021 school year motion yes Second. Uh, peggy kelly and rob rubin all right for, oh. first of all i'm going to make the same motion from before the like, community community Communication Committee, Legislative Action Committee, Smart mm -hmm. School Bonnet Committee, they should stay as they are. The only committee that I make a recommendation is the uh, Board Goal Committee. Is everybody in favor of that or what? Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. For the Board Goals, if, if uh, any, who's the vol anybody volunteer? I'll go on it again. All right, Marie. Um, yeah, John, last yeah. year you had Linda Rappaport, Marie Johnson, and Michael Lopez. For the yeah. Board Goals? Okay, yeah. fine. Uh, oh, you guys want to stay on that committee? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. fine that's it. All those John, can we I? We can do it remote, thing? right? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Just with with this with the uh, Smart School Bond Act committee. That's a district committee. It doesn't re require a board member to be on that particular committee. Um, I just happen to be on that committee because when the committee formed prior to be being on the board. Uh, I was chosen by the district. 
but that committee is mostly made up of uh, district personnel and community members. And that committee, and uh, uh, Mr. Lokima could correct me if I'm wrong, it's kind of uh, in motion all the time. We have uh, members dropping off and new members being added. So it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, a continuous thing. There's, there's no real definitive um, membership. Fine. In that case, I, I, I mean, we should approve it, but I'm just saying there's no board members that are required because it's a district committee based on the uh, guidelines of the Smart Bond Act. Uh, I have a, I have a question for Alberta. Alberta? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so if I'm on the policy committee, am I now off the um, personnel committee or am I still on it? I'm still on. Okay. All right. I guess the only one member we need to add is Eddie Schlesauer. The rest are I already restated. I have a motion. There's motion. no vote motion. on this. No we, vote. Got, we got the motion and second. I need okay. a vote on it to establish. Oh, we do vote. All those in yeah. favor, raise your hands. Peggy? Yes. Ruby? Yes. Marie? Yes. All right. Next uh, regular business meeting, 9.01. We'll start regular business meeting. Uh, we're not gonna go into executive session. So the next thing is uh, motion to open up hearing on the code of conduct. Resolve that the Board of Education Second. Resolve that the Board of Education does hereby close executive session and resume public session. Uh, motion. Open public hearing on the code of conduct. Okay, resolved that the Board of Education does hereby open a public hearing on the Code of Conduct at this time. Motion. Motion. Second. Ruben, Keith Odoms. It's all yours, uh, Darren. All right, very good. Good evening, everyone. Do we, I'm sorry, point of order. Do we have to, um, to resume public session? Uh, do we have to state the time or is that just a given? I recorded it as seven. Recorded it. I okay. have already recorded it. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Ms. Pedro. We just wanted to confirm. Okay, really brief. Uh, there's only there's only some minor updates to the code this year. Uh, the the committee met prior to the COVID, um, you know, to, to the COVID uh, departure from school, and uh, we had we had gone through some edits, and then we met again in May just to finalize the edits after everyone had a time a chance to look at it. Uh, we did make some edits on page 13, section F, to the cell phone electronic devices. <laughs> uh, just some minor updates. Uh, I know that we received a couple of uh, I received a response from a board member as far as a as far as a comment goes that talks about um, adding the term smart watches to the first sentence. That's not a problem. Uh, we noticed that there was uh, uh, there was some um, uh, redundancy in page 17, section Q, potentially disruptive items. This section was uh, deleted. It was it was found to be redundant with the section above. Everyone agreed to that on the committee. Page 19, section three, uh, providing a safe and supportive environment. There was language in there that did not reflect the Dignity for All Students Act. Uh, so we just cleaned that section up and made sure that all the language was reflected of DASA. <clears throat> we um, created, there was, a, there was a conversation when we were talking about cell phones as far as uh, in electronic devices with regards to privileges. We talked always about it being a privilege, being a privilege. So we wanted to actually create a definition for, for privileges. Privileges um, or loss of privileges is a disciplinary measure that's been in the code for a very long time. Um, but it was suggested that we sort of define it so that way we could say privileges could also include electronic devices. Uh, so we added, we added on page 27 under section six, a very brief sentence that described uh, privileges to also be inclusive of electronic devices. The, uh, on page 29 in the, dips, in the infraction list, uh, the, the infraction disre disrespectful language or action towards staff or student, uh, the, the, for whatever reason, the first time offense uh, penalty range just said from, uh, from 12 to 16, which basically was, uh, long, you know, a, a five day suspension and beyond, um, you know, to, to something even more, uh, that didn't seem right. So we just made sure that we said that the range really is going to be from one, uh, to 12 on the first penalty. And then, and then it could be, um, uh, further, further, uh, justifiably than, <laughs> um, uh, for the second and third, uh, a little bit more severe. 
uh, added a, a new infraction called false, false reporting, and we created a uh, definition for false reporting. This stemmed from an issue that we had during the school year and felt that there wasn't really a infraction on the list that really would have helped our administrators deal with that particular incident. So creating this false reporting infraction uh, certainly helped with that. And then there was recommendations or a request to update uh, pages 40 and 41, appendixes, appendices B and C, um, to, to just be more reflective of what section six was. It's an old appendix, uh, appendices, uh, both of them. And I, 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 I wasn't sure that we really needed it, but most of the committee felt that it was nice to have it in there. So it just needs to be updated and, and kept in line with section six of the code. And that's, that's pretty much it. The, any, dis any discussion? Any questions by anyone? Questions? Not at this time. But can I, ask, I I'm going to ask a question. Not the, in the policy committee meeting we had, uh, with Mr. Eddie slash out, Peggy Kellen, myself, and uh, Mr. Mr. Lopez, we uh, we talked about uh, the usage of uh, cell phones in the classroom. Yeah, but but John, we've not the committee is still waiting for additional information that we had requested from um, uh, Assistant Superintendent Richard Zip. And we've not yet gotten that information back. And then we've not made a decision yet to send that to the full board for consideration. Uh, assuming uh, that- To have it reviewed by the policy, excuse me, by the uh, Code of Conduct Committee. Okay. Assuming that Mr. Zip gets back to us, can we get to put an addenda to the policy? Well, then, that's if it's a, that's if it's moved forward, I believe. But I just think it's just a little premature, only because we haven't formulated exactly the structure of a possible change to that uh, policy without the information from mm -hmm. Mr. Zip's department. My question is: Once we make the once Mr. Zip responds to us, and the policy committee meets to either approve that and then su subsequently give it to the board, will that become part of the policy code of conduct? Well, I the guess board changes the policy regarding that. Okay, that's fine. Any further the board discussion? votes to make that policy change. Okay. Any any it would have to be incorporated in with the code of conduct. Okay. Am I right, Ms. Kelland and Mr. Yes. Lokima? Yes, right. because uh, the code of conduct is supposed to follow the policy. And any any okay. further questions? All those in favor? Yes. Eddie? Oh, you're not voting on anything we're right now. not voting on anything, John. We're well, not voting case, on the code of conduct. Absolutely. In that case, thank you for your, your suggestion. I'll, I'll remember that from now on. There has to be a public hearing first. I believe Mr. Lokima schedules that in either the end. I think, I think it's, it's the beginning of month. August yeah. to yeah. have it ready for uh, This is actually the public hearing right now. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm sorry. I mean, we didn't, right. We didn't have to, has to, right. Never mind. I'm going to be quiet. Alberta, did you, Alberta, did you get any comments? Actually, uh, that's next on the agenda. I'm waiting for Mr. Lumia to more, read. Well, 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 I'll have a motion to close away. the public hearing and resume the regular meeting. Keith. No, no, not. No, we can't, we can't do that. We have to the meeting yet. John, we're not closing the meeting yet. Alberta, are there you have comments, to make. Are there any comments from the, the public, Alberta? Thank you. One moment, please. I, 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 I don't think said there was any. Okay, That's okay. Eleven point three. I'm looking, I'm looking okay. in my public comment form. Um, there wasn't any. I have three comments here, but right now they are not related to the code of conduct. I would like to ask Darren to please check the um, WCSD comments email to see if anyone submitted a um, comment on the code of conduct that he can read to us? There's nothing to report at this time. Thank you. If I can just quickly um, ask Trustee Slowshower, um, or you can shoot me an email about the one thing that you're waiting to hear back from, either shoot me an email or, cause I'm sure. up in the air about that. That's fine, right now. no problem. Uh, I'll send you right now. Okay, great. <laughs> Can I text All you? All right. <laughs> I love it. That's a uh, Keith. Go ahead. Resolve. Sure. Eleven point zero four. Resolve that the Board of Education does hereby close the public hearing and resume the regular meeting. 
Do Move. I think, do, second. Second. Keith Odom. Keith. Second. Yes. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Ruby? Yes. Unanimous. 12.01, public comment on regular business agenda items. Uh, that's my job to read this. A third of 30 minutes at the beginning of each board meeting is set aside to allow for public comments and agenda items only. Individual comments and agenda items are limited to three minutes and are welcomed. Based on the open means law and board policy 1230, debate or dialogue with board members not allowed during this meeting, compliments or complaints about student discipline, specific student issues, or personnel must not be addressed during public comment. Comments or questions submitted to the use of the public comment forum will be sent to the appropriate staff member who will provide a response on the district public comment response webpage. If you wish to address items related to our school district that are not on tonight's agenda, another comment period is provided at the end of the meeting for that purpose. In the, in the interest of civility and respect for different points of view, clapping, booing, and any disturbance or disruption is not permitted. Alberta, at this time, do we have any comments on agenda items? I have no comments on agenda items. In that case, 13.01, uh, consent agenda resolution. Does anybody want to pull anything out from the consent agenda? 12.01, John. 12.01. 12.01. 12 12 12 yes, please, please excuse. Good. We had a change of the agenda very late. So uh, every, everything got moved once the exec session was taken off. So anything that was 13 okay. becomes 12. Okay. The first one, 13, 13.02 is the first one. Yeah, so which one would okay, you like to remove? The agenda is 12.01. 12 12.01. 12 12 okay. Also, instead of saying 13.02, we'd say 12.02, right? Yes, 12 sir, 02 thank pool. you. Okay. Okay. Alberta. Okay, I got it. 1202 to pull. No, no, no. I didn't need to pull it. I'm just saying as an example. If somebody wants to pull it, that's fine. Is there any item from the consent agenda that anybody wants to pull? There's none. So read them all, uh, Keith. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby approve the following consent agenda items as stated. 12 12.02, 12.03, 12.04, 12.05, 12.06, 12.07, 12.08, 12.09, 12.10, 12.11, 12.12, 12.13, 12.14, 12.15, and 12.16. Moved. Okay, uh, yeah, Ruben, so second, second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Yes. Unanimous. Ruben, I guess you're okay. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Thir okay. Thirteen point. Uh, let's see. Thirteen point what? Uh, Thirteen. No, no. What's the next one? Zero one. Thirteen. New, new business. New, new business. Fourteen point oh one. Approval of bond. Thirteen point oh one. Fourteen point oh one. Uh, approval 13. of bond resolution. Thirteen. Two hundred. No, it's third. No one. Approval of bonds. What the heck? Yes, it is. 1301 approval of bond. Yeah, bond resolution. Resolution. Yes. It's, it's not 13, but whatever it is. Approval of bond resolution 2,271,522. Purchase of student transportation vehicles. The resolution. Read it, right? Oh my God. Yes. yes. I read a resolution. I could resolution. speed read. <laughs> A resolution authorizing the issuance of two million two hundred and seventy one five hundred and twenty two dollars bonds of Wappages Central School District, Dutchess and Putnam counties, New York, to pay the cost of the purchase of student transportation vehicles in and for said school district, whereas all conditions precedent to the financing of the capital project here and after describe in court and compliance with the provisions of the State Environmental Quality Review Act as a type two action has been performed. And whereas at the annual meeting of the qualified voters of the Wabajee Central School District, Dutchess and Putnam Counties, New York, held on June 9th, 2020, the proposition was duly adopted, authorizing the Board of Education 
of said school district to undertake the purchase of student transportation vehicles, including incidental expenses in connection therewith at a maximum estimated cost of $2,271,522, such propositions providing for the levy of a tax defer to be collected in installations Installment. with installments installments excuse me installments with up to two million two hundred seventy one five hundred and twenty two obligations of said school district to be issued in anticipation there of and proposes and for the financing thereof now therefore be it resolved by the affirmative vote of not less than two thirds of the total voting strength of the board of education of the Wapaja Central School District Dutchess and Putnam County New York as follows. Section one, and Linda, I'll let you do section two. Oh, will uh, you? Purpose, <laughs> the, the, the purpose of student transportation vehicles, including incidental expenses in connection therewith at a maximum estimated cost of $2,271,522 in and for the I'm sorry, this is cut and, off. And a for the Wapaja Central School District, Dutchess and Putnam Counties, New York is hereby authorized. Linda, you can right. take over from here. Linda, give, give right. a break. <laughs> Section two. Just let, let me know when you want to go come back in. Section, Section two. two. The, the plan I'll for, come back at six. for the financing of the afford. <laughs> Okay, six. All right. The plan for the financing of the aforesaid $2,271,522 maximum estimated cost shall be by the issuance of $2,271,000 thousand two million two hundred ah two seventy one thousand five hundred twenty two bonds of said school district hereby authorized to be issued therefore pursuant to the provisions of the local finance law. Section three, it is hereby determined that the period of probable usefulness of the aforesaid class of objects or purposes is five years pursuant to subdivision 29 of paragraph A of section 11.00 of the local finance law. Section four, the faith and credit of said Wappinger Central School District, Duchess and Putnam Counties, New York, are hereby irrevocably pledged for the payment of the principal of and interest on such bonds as the same respectively become due and payable. And annual appropriation shall be made, whoops, shall be made Good in year. each year sufficient to pay the principal of and interest on such bonds becoming due and payable in such year. There shall be annually be levied on all the taxable real property in said school district, a tax sufficient to pay the principal of and interest on such bonds as the same become wow. due and payable. Wow. Section five, subject to the provisions of the local finance law, the power to authorize the issuance of and to sell bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance and sale of the bonds herein authorized, including renewals of such notes is hereby delegated to the president, the board of education, the chief fiscal officer. Such notes shall be of such terms, form and contents, and shall be sold in such manner as may be prescribed by said president of the Board of Education consistent with the provisions of the local finance law. Section so six. All right, you All other matters, it, yep, I'm here. All other matters except as provided here and relating to the bonds here and authorized, including the date, denominations, maturities, and interest payment dates within limitations prescribed here in in the manner of execution of the same, including the consolidation with other issues, and also the ability to issue bonds with this sustainable, sustainably level or declining annual debt service shall be determined by the president of the board, the chief fiscal officer of the school district. Such bonds shall contain substantially the re recital of validity caused provided for in section 52 of the local finance law and shall otherwise be in such form and contain such recitals in, other, in addition to those required by section 51 of the local finance law. As the president of the board of the education shall determine consistent with the provisions of the local finance law, section seven, the validity of such bonds and bond anticipation notes may be contested only if such obligations are authorized for an object or purpose for which said school district is not authorized to expend money or 
the provisions of law which should be compiled with as the date of publication of this resolution are not substantially compiled with and an action suit or proceeding contesting proceeding contesting such validity is commenced within 20 days after the date of such publication or number three such obligations are authorized in violation of the provisions of the constitution section seven this resolution shall uh section eight this Consideration a statement of official intent for the purposes of treasury and regulations section 1.1502. Other than specified in the resolution, no monies are or are res reasonably expected to be reserved, allocated on a long-term basis or otherwise set aside with respect to the permanent funding of the object or purpose described herein. Section nine, this resolution which takes effect immediately shall be published in summary form in an official newspaper of said school district for the purpose, together with a notice of school district clerk substantially in the form of provided in section 81 of the local finance law. The end. Wow. Good job. It, All three of you, good job. Yeah. Ruby, Keith. Second. All in favor. All right, I was just a little discussion. discussion. Hold it one second, please. I'm sorry, Drew. Go ahead, Ruby. Just a question, Al, and this goes to Alberta, where, second, where they talk about um, shall be published in the official newspaper of said school district. That's, should not that read newspapers? Both the journal and the Southern Justice News would be Reference here or no? Yes. So then I would make a motion to amend this section nine that where it says newspaper, that it would be change it to newspapers. I make that motion. Second. Se second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Yes. Now, and I, I go yes on that. All right, now I'll make a motion to uh, accept the amendment and accept the resolution. All those in favor? Yes. All right, unanimous. Yes. A approval of Professional Development Plan 2020. Resolve that the Board of Education hereby approves the list of Professional Development Plan committee members as detailed on page four of the plan and be it further resolved that upon the recommendation of the superintendent, the Board of Education does hereby approve the Wapaji Central School District Professional Development Plan as mandated by Commissioner's Regulation 102.2. Motion. Move. Ruben, so second, move. Melinda, discussion? Discussion, yes. Uh, yes, reading it over, I didn't see any uh, references to training in dealing with distance learning and um, talking with teachers and parents and students in the district who have come approached me on this. Uh, some have found, uh, found it very uneven. You know, in some cases it was wonderful. Other cases, uh, there was a feeling that there was more, there was a great need for specific professional development uh, on these, on dealing with the di diff differences of giving distance learning as opposed to in-classroom teaching. So uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Carrier. So thank you for bringing that up. Um, as I typically do each year, I will share the um, administrative retreat agenda that we start tomorrow. So we have our retreat tomorrow. And a big portion of this is gonna focus on the the potential three models of talking about, and I would really encourage and respectfully ask that the board place a tremendous emphasis on the times that we're living and looking at the, the board goals. So that, but, but it's necessary. And what we have right now is the fact that we don't have specific governor's orders. So for example, we don't know if it's gonna be mandated or required which we hope for, I'll say this publicly, for more synchronous learning opportunities. We don't know if, um, if we're gonna be 100% remote. We don't know if it's a hybrid model. We don't know if it's a full in-person model. 
So the conversations we're having, and you all received the form, we, we received hundreds of questions from our community as well. Um, just globally, we got over from our WCSD staff, we got over 400 submissions. The teachers had their own form to fill out. So these are all the items that we are addressing. And this is one place that, you know, I play students first all the time. So I'm, I don't, I'm not being diplomatic about this, but it's really upsetting how at schools we're kind of spinning our wheels to address some of this information. Um, but all the questions you, I thank you for saying that because these are the things that will be on our agenda and it will play a significant <laughs> role. Dr. Cardwell is facilitating this portion. Um, so our agenda is set, but I don't like sharing it with the board till after because we make modifications as we go. So if, if you want to know right now, I haven't been, um, I've been on um, my other laptop, but if you, if you want, I can share with the board quickly the items that are going to be on, um, that are going to be a part of our two day retreat starting tomorrow, which is- um, Excuse me, Jose. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Jose. If I could just pipe in, Dr. Cardwell did add that the item um, being discussed is under goal number two in the uh, professional development report. I just wanted to share that. Okay. So we're, we're, we're really going to talk about, we're going to be, you know, first our open in conversation is how we do, how are we doing as a team, <laughs> right? Because it'll be the first time we'll see each other through social distancing, but um and then how will we begin our hiring practices where we're gonna be talking about diversity recruitment efforts, how are we going to do this remotely as we continue to move forward? Dr. Bonk will be um, facilitating this section of just hiring practices, recruitment efforts, and um, prioritizing um, how, how we hire for September based on the different models. We don't know what the governor's gonna tell us, um, Long-term budget planning, Kristen will be facilitating this aspect where we're talking about um, really long-term budget planning and the implications of how frugal we're going to be for the 2021 school year <laughs> and ensure that we are fiscally responsible for that. Then, of course, the opening of schools um, that um, Mr. Lokima will be the facilitator and provide different models throughout the state that have already been um, Put in place um, guidelines, I mean, by different states, Oklahoma, Massachusetts, Connecticut. So we're, we'll be looking at some of those guidelines. We'll be reviewing some of the articles and we'll be reviewing a lot of the concerns that we have maybe read in many of our newspapers. And um, we're also going to be talking about what is the optimum learning opportunity for students. We have to still ensure that our kids are learning. That is prime. And regardless of what model is in place, how are our students learning? How are we connecting with our students and our families? And that'll be also um, facilitated by Dr. Cardwell. We're also talking about students with disabilities and their support services and how do we prioritize that for in-person opportunities where it is absolutely necessary or we believe that this is how we should move forward. And Mr. Zip will be facilitating that um, we're also going to be talking about cultural competence and responsiveness and everything that's going on in our country and the climate. So we're really going to be talking about what does that look like? What do we want to see for our schools? And how do we want to continue to build our committees in the district in terms of our cultural competencies and responsiveness? So these are our agenda items for two days. And this is what we're discussing. So um, I welcome any any of your questions that you may have that you just want us to kind of say, hey, if you can you talk about this as well? We have all the indicators listed, but of course we will be, I will be happy to share anything um, you want to share with us regarding our two-day retreat. Um, and um, so we look forward to this every year when we start right away. We don't waste any time because it is necessary to get our business rolling, especially during this crisis. Motion. Thank Callen. you, Mr. Callen. Callen. <laughs> Callen. Second. We had more discussion. Yes. All those in favor? Yes. 
Let me I think somebody you. had a question. Somebody had, had a who had a question. Jim had a qu trustee. Jim, uh, Spencer Jim, had a question. Yes, Jim. No, I just wanted to acknowledge and, and thank all of the professional development committee members: Michelle Cartwell, Joseph Padota, Susan Lake, Suzanne Lake. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Teresa Stoll, Rochelle Zalatas, Michelle um, Hogan, Christine Blake, Rebecca O'Mara, Stephen Shukat, Amy Fazio, Jessica Turner and Karen Smith. I just want to thank them for their efforts in, in putting this together. Thank you, Jim. Yes. All those in favor? Yes. yes. Unanimous. Uh, before I, since the superintendent is having his laboratory tomorrow, uh, I, I would like to make a motion that uh, our board, the, the ad hoc committee gets uh, gets involved as soon as possible. So to get- I would the, love the, that. So Marie, Marie, if you don't mind, I'm yes. going to make you in charge, if you don't mind, to get everything going. That's okay. great. I've already started making notes from last year's. Very good. Okay. 14.03, <laughs> approval to attend New York State School Board Association Summer Law Conference. Resolved that the Board of Education does hereby approve that board member, Trustee Robert Rubin, attend the virtual the, uh, NISPA Summer Law Conference on July 21st and July 22nd, 2020 with a registration fee of $130 member rate, which will be waived due to a voucher for one complimentary training. So moved. Second. So Linda for uh, over and second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Yes. Un unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Rubin. And thank you for getting <laughs> a, free one, a, a free one. Thank God. I, I didn't even vote. Thank Alberta for that one, but I didn't even vote, so thank you. I assume you're going to vote. Goodbye. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> Actually, it's a saving of 260 because we're going to be non-members. That's correct. That's right. Request for any addition to the agenda. Are there any motion to add to the agenda? See none. Comments from the public. Alberta. OK, now I can read. Okay, this first comment is from Karen. She says, I am appalled that an AP from RCK was not allowed on the grounds during the graduation ceremonies for the student. This individual is and was the most caring giving administrator that I have witnessed in my 20 years of being involved. I can't understand how this was allowed. The person was- Ms. Petro, I don't think we could discuss personnel issues. It's Okay. She's specifically indicating someone. We You're can right. take okay. that next, next we can share with the Board of Education. Next comment. Next comment is from the same person, same issue. And the third comment is from Cecilia Cortez McConnell. Um, it's related to the same issue. Any additional, any additional comments? No. There's one more that came to, it's in the email. If I can just, Kristen, do you see it? Oh, I've got it, Jose. Oh, you got yes. it? Read it, Christian. Uh, Please. Yv Yvonne Gore submitted a comment. Has the board considered changing the Indians name of school teams? Please see my petition. Okay. That's it. I just, I'd just like to make one quick comment. I know it's not appropriate this time, but I'm gonna make it anyway. First, I'd like to thank uh, both principals at the high schools for such fantastic, fantastic mm -hmm. events. Yes. I mean, it was hot. I mean, it was really a uh, terrible. All three, John, I'm correcting you. <laughs> You saw my fingers, Marie? No, I was I was like, no, I've got all three of my masks hanging up for the high schools. I, I don't want more left Ochi, out of that I, either. I, absolutely, you're right. What your view it was it was always extremely well done. I'd like to thank Keith for it all, you know, because I wasn't too sure whether I was gonna make the Orchard view because uh, there was so many things going on. So I'd like to thank Keith for staying get going in for me. So thank you, Keith. And uh the, the, the graduation exercises were incredibly well pre well done and well prepared. The kids had a great time. The parents had loved it. In my opinion, they loved it. The weather was, needless to say, it was hot. And I really don't understand how the principal as well as the superintendent 
put up with it. I mean, it was incredible. I mean, it, it, it was hot. So uh, now I understand why you have to go indoor, but I'll tell you, having an outdoor, if you could have outdoor one, one day at each school, that really adds to the uh, to the flavor of the graduation exercise. So thank you for, yes, uh, Michael. Um, if I could just add to your sentiment, um, I mean, obviously you were, you represented the board at the uh, graduation ceremonies and I can, I can just speak from living up the street from RCK. Um, the excitement that I heard Friday night and woke up to Monday morning and all throughout the day, I mean, the horns honking, the music playing, the light, I mean, you can see the lights and the music of Friday night. So, I mean, you know, kudos to all the administrators for doing a really good job. Yeah, great job. And with that in mind, I make a motion that we close the meeting. All and uh, and, uh, and uh, all those in favor. Aye. 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 Have a Thank great you. day, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> and let's have a good year. <laughs> Arrivederci. Yes, we will.